Ben is mod. Man, it's been a while since I've sat down to make a video here. Like, what's it been? Like two, three weeks? Welcome back for another video, guys. And today I'm gonna to be covering my top five tips for public land duck hunting. Before I get too far into this video, I wanna let you guys know that I've got the Mallardsboro hats and this hoodie and some t-shirts and stuff up on the website. So click the link in the description and go check it out. I've got some new stuff coming, which I'm really excited about. And if it's up on the website, by the time I'm done editing this video, I'll put a picture right here for you guys. So just go ahead and click the link in the description and go check that out. Let's go ahead and dive into what you guys came to this video for, and that is the top five tips that I can give you for public land duck hunting. Now these tips are not in any particular order, not most important to least important. These are all great tips. And if you guys have any tips that I missed or didn't cover, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear the tips that you guys have because my public land might be different from your public land, especially for those of you guys who are down like hunting flooded timber. I don't have any flooded timber. I just have like open prairie marshes and lakes. So. You know, there's just differences along the way. So if I missed anything or you have different ways of hunting public land than I do or different terrains, leave it in the comments what you guys do to uh, get around on public land. The first tip that I can give you guys is to get there early and set up well in advance. So let's say shooting light is at seven o'clock in the morning. I would recommend getting there by at the latest five in the morning. You need to get out there early so then you can build a blind and do all your stuff and get everything set up well in advance of shooting light. And especially on public marshes, that time to get there is just gonna be earlier and earlier and earlier. Like if you have a, a marsh that's like super loaded, there's gonna be a lot of people there and you gotta get there early so then you can get to the spot that you want to get to because location is key in duck hunting. So do yourself a favor, don't sleep in, get up at the butt crack of dawn and get out there and so then you can kill some ducks. I think one of the worst feelings that I've ever had is like leaving the house at a good time, knowing that you're gonna be the first one there and when you get to the marsh, you see trucks there and you're like, you gotta be kidding me. So avoid that by getting out there early. If you guys hunt public land enough and the same area enough, you'll generally kind of understand the best time to get there because I'm sure it's different throughout everywhere along the world. Actually, I got viewers from everywhere around the world, so that's kind of cool. So, you know, it's pretty neat. Tip number two that I can give you guys is to go out and scout. And so when you scout, you want to find the pools of water or spots on the lake or fields if you have public land fields that the ducks go to. It's plain and simple right there. You want to be where the ducks want to be. I know a lot of public land has refuges and most of the time the ducks are just going to go straight to the refuge, sit out there from shooting light until shooting light and then one minute before and after shooting light you're just going to see a million ducks. You know, it's that's just kind of how it goes. But figure out the spots not on the refuge where the birds want to go and then that's going to be your best place to go out and hunt. Also, along with scouting, you need to be able to think outside the box. I've had a lot of awesome hunts on public land from thinking outside the box and not being just plugging through the marsh, I'm gonna go set up in the same old spot because that doesn't work every day. Sometimes you're gonna see the birds doing different things and you gotta figure out those birds. For the 30 minute limit video, the birds were not going to the marsh and we had to figure out where they were going and we found just this little tiny puddle of water that was still on public land that all the birds were going to. Uh, same goes for when I was hunting with Adam and we made our own hole in the marsh because there wasn't enough water. We literally took a sled and pushed down the grass so then there was like an inch of water throughout our decoys and we killed a bunch of ducks that day. So you gotta be able to think on your feet and think outside the box when you're on public land so then you can find those different options away from the crowd for one. That's another tip. Go ahead and just try and stay away from the crowds, but also be able to find the spots where the birds wanna be and get under them and get away from the crowds. If you can do all that and scout and get where the birds are, you're gonna have some excellent hunts. Tip number three is to either build a blind or bring one with you. 
So I've made plenty of duck blinds on public land and they've worked amazing. You just take some sticks and you pile grass on there. It looks great. I'll make a video on it later. I'm really wanting to do that for you guys, but I think I'm gonna do it closer to my season opening up here at the end of the month. Make sure that you're concealed really well. So build a good blind or if you don't have the materials. I've been fortunate enough to be hunting in an area where there's a lot of sticks and stuff and grass. Like you can make a duck blind real easy. But when I traveled out west, there's really not a lot of trees out there. So it made building a blind pretty much impossible. So either be able to build a blind or bring one with you, whether it be a layout or an A-frame or whatever. Just bring what you can carry. I know you could also just tuck back in some tall grass and cattails and be just fine. Take the time to build a nice blind. You won't regret it. The ducks won't see you coming. Tip number four is about decoy spreads. And on public land, you want to have a large decoy spread and you want to make it look very lively. So I would recommend four to five dozen decoys if you're hunting with other people. If you're just by yourself, a dozen to two dozen decoys will do just fine. I'm just saying if you're with other people, it makes it a little easier to pull decoys in or if you have a sled. Generally speaking, four to five dozen decoys is a lot of decoys on public land. Most people will bring one to two dozen. And so if you bring a little bit more and you set up in an opener water, you're gonna kill a lot of ducks. To make the spread look lively, you've got a few different options. You can use spinning wing decoys, you can use flippers, you can use spitters, you can use any kind of electronic decoy if your state allows it, that ripples the water, you know, you get the gist. But you can also go the old fashioned route and just use an old jerk cord. Those things work great as well. So if you guys don't have a jerk cord, I recommend you getting one. They're very cheap to either make or buy, really up to you on what you wanna do. Yeah, on public land, you wanna make sure that your spread is lively, you want a large spread, and if you guys have any questions about decoy spreads, I've made videos on them in the past, so I will leave a link up in the corner here. Tip number five is to be courteous towards other hunters, and you need to remember that public land is public. It is not your public land, it is everybody's public land. So you're gonna get a lot of people using the area, and you need to treat them with respect. If you're walking into a marsh and somebody's already set up make sure you go the extra distance to set up at least 200 yards away from them because that'll one give you better hunting success and two give them better hunting success and then it will also keep you from getting them mad at you if that makes any sense at all so do everybody a favor and just set up farther away from somebody i know in the dark things do look closer and that happens but to do your best to set up farther away from people because it's just gonna be better for everybody in the marsh. I don't think I really need to say much more about being courteous towards other hunters. I think it's pretty self-explanatory and you know, just treat, treat everybody with respect. Like it's not that difficult to do. Like we're all out there to do the same thing. And we're all like one big duck hunting community. We're not trying to butt heads. We're all trying to accomplish the same goal here. So why are we fighting each other when we can just like help each other out? Like, you know? So that's just kind of my opinion on that. But yeah, be courteous towards other hunters. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you want to pick up a hoodie like this or a hat like this one, click the link in the description and it will take you over there and you can buy one. Be sure to follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one. Say kill him. You'll hear, and then you'll hear, kill him, take him, send him to Jesus. Shoot those birds. <laughs> Shoot those birds. That's what I said when they shoot them. Brian just shot his first duck. <laughs> oh no. Ever. Go get it. So this is my first duck. It's kind of cool. Dropped it. Nice. Brian shot himself a gaddy. How you feel? Awesome.